So if you're clicking on this, you're probably aware that we've had a second Team Affinity release. A lot of good cards in there. Keep an eye out on the channels for reviews of more cards in the future. But today we are going to take a look at Garrett Crochet. Okay. Crochet. We'll just go with Garrett C for the time being. And by the end of this video, you will understand why I think Garrett is one of the best TA2 releases, if not one of the best pitchers in the game so far. In this at-bat to JT Realmuto, you will see one of the more potent combos that you can set up with Garrett, which is the slider to the change to some fast and then back to the slider. The slider has such movement on it that you kind of have to be sitting on it to have any real shot of hitting it. Also, you'll get to see uh, me mess up a pinpoint once, ends up not coming back to bite me here, but hey, we're all human, right? One of the complaints I've had people throwing at me about Garrett so far has been, well, Stein, he doesn't have, like, a lot of speed variants. As you'll see in this clip, when you're throwing 102 on Hall of Fame and Legend, anything under 90 is basically the rocking chair effect. So Solak gets kind of timed up here. He, he fouls off the slider, so you come right back at the same spot with the outlier, and just take a look at the face of this poor man. <laughs> Here we have another good example of the rocking chair effect with Garrett's slider. As you can see, he fouls it off for strike two. He thinks he's got your timing worked out a little bit, so you come outside top of the zone with the outlier. The ball's on the catcher's mitt before he even swings. If you ever wanted to see why the rocking chair effect is something people talk about so much on Hall of Fame and Legend, I'm just going to put this entire Otani at bat in here. First pitch, too late. Second pitch, too early. He has no idea what's going on here, and it, he doesn't have any real hope of making contact with this third pitch, and yeah, just another strikeout. In closing, I think Garrett is one of the best TA2 cards and probably one of the better pitchers to come out this year so far. If you remember Nick Lodolo from last year, weird windup guy, kind of screwed with people as a lefty, this is about as close as we've gotten this year. Really high hit per nine, has outlier, has four pitches, actually pretty good two-seamer, and you can make your opponents feel like this when you use them. What's not the love, right? 